Kill. The Century Flight. 100. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Holy hell, and how long have you had this? Uh, four and a half months we've been flying this girl for, and it came as a package deal. I think we've done some videos already, as you know, and originally I didn't like the model a lot when I first pulled it out of the box. A yeah. lot of things needed attending to. Simple stuff, but added fuel, extra fuel tank on the top, as everyone knows. Everything has been operating so well. The only thing I had some trouble with was the gear doors because we operate off a fairly rough grass strip and they were catching when it bottomed out suspension. They were catching and peeling off. I got sick of putting them back on so I, mean, I turfed those ones. Still got the inner doors, or the outer doors I should say, that open and close. The ones that were on the struts I got rid of and yeah. I just put little cutouts for the undercarriage to go through so there's only a minimal gap in there. Yeah. And now it just works beautifully. Uh, the Linton turbine, what a fantastic machine. I want more of them. <laughs> Please, Leo, more. Being a beast, we'll put up a, um, a, a little snapshot of uh, your uh, G, uh, sorry, ECU last night, which you took. Yes. It's 116 starts. Uh, 113. 113, yeah, sorry, yeah. 113. I've, I had previously only seen about uh, 90. I think we had, we were up to 94 or 93 flights, yeah. but actually I'd ripped myself off five flights <laughs> once I opened up the, EC, uh, the GSU, had a look at the stats, it was 113 starts, which means I've flown it 99 times, so this next flight's 100, yeah. and I'd done 12 bench starts, yeah. uh, no, 13 bench starts, one start at home that I didn't fly just to check the fuel system, so yeah. we're up to 99 flights, this is going to be 100. 100. You've got a winning combination now. It does the same the thing every time, regardless of the weather. Yeah. Uh, we can have the hottest, stinking, horrible day. It just starts, <laughs> it goes, it shuts down, it cools, it does everything it should. Yeah. So I'm a fan of this. Uh, I think they've built a very robust turbine. Yeah. And I want more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I want one as well. Like I've seen this, even just like the startup. Just the noise that it makes yeah, and yeah. just the, the process, it's, um, it's it very reminds, smooth. It reminds me very much of my VT80, the, the right. Jetsman. It yep. takes about a, a minute and a bit to get going until yep. it gets to full idle. Yeah, This is the same. Uh, I do believe Leo is working on those parameters. It may even shorten that period down a little bit. Yeah. But Definitely so not far, a deal breaker like, anyway. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to plug it in. Three batteries running 2200s. You can get solid six flights out of it uh, without charging. Nice. Fuel on. And as it's starting up, I'll just test everything out. Thing is the uh, is 
thrust tube as it starts to expand and pops back out to shape. <laughs> a very small thrust tube for this size motor. Okay, taxiing out for the 100th flight of the MB339. It is supposedly aerofoam, uh, but it was just handed to us, so yep. I've got really no affiliation with with the actual airframe. But the Linton turbine's in this, and it's performing so well. So I'm just going to throttle up, wings level, keep it straight on the strip. Coming to about 60% throttle here. And backing off so I don't exceed gear up speed. And turn away, flaps up, and I'll come through. Hopefully the gear's gone away. Yep. And I'll come through for a gallery pass on the first pass. And 40% throttle, I'm imagining, somewhere like that. Covers the ground quickly at yeah 40% throttle that was. Wow. Really covers the ground. It's just consistent. That's what I love about this turbine. It's always consistent. That's holding 40% throttle. Really not changing throttle settings at the moment. Just the most enjoyable thing to fly. It's all about just putting on a nice scale air show the whole time. Keeping it nice and smooth. I'll go into a vertical and I'll take it to 60% on the throttle. We're lucky here at Grattan Field. Midweek we've got a thousand foot. So probably just touch the thousand feet and straight back down. I should say 999 feet. <laughs> I'll come into a slow roll. And that was all at about 20% throttle and I brought it back up to 40% throttle. Bags of power. It's awesome. Very enjoyable. I'll come around and we'll do a loop straight out the front here. Back at 30% throttle. We'll start to get it wound up into ready for the loop. 50% throttle and going to the loop. Backing off a little bit. really carries its energy for a straight wing model, this one. It's um, just a lovely design. I suppose when you overpower something, it always cooks along, but <laughs> just so much fun. We'll come straight at the camera, Mikel. And turn away. <laughs> oh, look at legs, isn't it? Okay, that was 30% throttle <laughs> all the way through that. Backed right off to flight idle. Come through for a low pass. Bit of breeze around today, but nothing much. We'll start bringing the throttle up. We'll come back around from left to right for a gallery pass. Getting seven minutes in the air, on average about eight and a half to nine minutes from start to finish with the turbine on. Nice slow gallery pass there. <laughs> um, so I run a timer on my turbine for time on, total time, and I run that with an eight and a half minute warning. And I'm always landing with about 25 to 30% left in the tanks. 
Uh, Leo from Linton is working with a company over in Germany for telemetry to allow telemetry from these turbines to every radio. Oh, brilliant. So that's almost complete now is what I'm hearing. So that'll be a really good feature. Yeah. I'm going to go inverted on this turn and come at the camera. It's just about being nice and smooth when you're flying scale. And across the field and into a vertical. I love how this model rolls around the nose so precisely. Yeah. It has no effect where it sort of corkscrews. It's really straight. I really do enjoy it. So my time is at 7 minutes 20, allowing a minute for the start-up and a little bit of idle time. I'll start configuring it shortly in the next minute or so for a landing. Keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gears coming down. And first stage of flap. And we'll just head into circuit here now and I'll bring on this has quite a lot of residual thrust, this machine, so you've got to keep the nose down a little bit, but it does retain its energy really well. And I'll uh, let it settle and then I'll bring the flaps up as it touches the ground. Brakes on, let it come off. Flight 100. Yay, well done. <laughs> <laughs> 100 flights, you have. <laughs> How good is that? What a great package. Well, wow, yeah, yeah, especially their Linton, their Linton jet. It's just bags of power. And <laughs> for those who are like, we, we'll put up a video showing Yoda sticks. He's not lying when he's saying 40 to 60%. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I, I surprise myself when I look down at the controls. I go, oh really, I'm down at 30%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that thing hooks along. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's been a couple of times where you've been with the wind and pushing. Well, it looked like you're pushing it, but you're only like, I'm only at 60, I'm only at 60. <laughs> and it's flying past. It's... Um, what a brilliant combo, though, that, those two yep. match. Fantastic. Well, congratulations, mate. Thanks, Lynn Tom, and thanks, AM. <laughs> yeah. Well done. And Ostar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you, Steve, from Ostar. Yeah, thank you, big thank you to Steve and Ostar. Pilots, welcome back to Mickey BRC. How cool is that? 100 flights on this Air Mackie. Just take that in for a second. It's 100 takeoffs, it's 100 landings, 100 times the gears have been cycled. Countless inputs into the aileron, elevator, and rudder servos. You know, it works out to be around about 12 plus hours on the airframe flying, which is a true testament to aerofoam. Not only that, there's the 14 plus hours in the Linton jet um, while we were testing. So, there were some parameter changes on the turbine in the very early stages, early phases, um, which we discuss at length with the factory to set new defaults in the software. Um, there was also a starter motor change part way through as well. Uh, there was a little issue with the O-ring to help engage the starter, um, but it started to, to slip. So after those changes were implemented and we got the new starter, um, it has been rock solid ever since. So, you know, a true testament. So now we have completed the uh, review and test of the Linton Jet X80DX. We have some really exciting upcoming projects that are currently underway. Yoda is working big days on a new composite model um, that uh, we've been sent to, um, to test, build, test and review. Um, for those of you who saw the, my recent video on the JP Hobby um, electric retract controller setup, um, there will be some clues as to what he's working on. It's that aircraft that um, was featured in that video. I won't give too much away, uh, but it is big. It's a 1-6 scale and it's, uh, it's unusual but familiar. But uh, that's all I'll say. That's really exciting for us. There are also another two projects heading our way as well. One's almost on the water and the other one is uh, still in pre-production. So that'll be, coming, that'll be coming to us soon. Really excited for that. So it's been busy here on the Mickey BRC campus, I suppose you'd call it. In future, you will see more of these test slash review type videos 
come through. Now, when a company asks us to test and review uh, a product or an aircraft, we spend a lot of hours with the products. Uh, we do a lot of research, we like to keep in contact with the manufacturer or the supplier throughout the whole process. Even with the Linton jet, um, we had big discussions, shared videos, shared images throughout the whole testing phase um, to keep them up to date on what was happening and to show them any abnormalities um, if they happen to arise. But also just as important is that when we put up a video for uh, like a review, um, we want to take you on a journey with us. So you get to see what we experienced and how we overcame any sort of possible difficulties along the way. But also provide you some helpful tips and set up items. So if you're parting your hard earned cash, you know exactly what you're in for. If a product is sent to us for review and to test, we will test it vigorously and rigorously. If it's uh, to do with a model, we won't just fly it a handful of times, film it, and then throw it up to promote. That's that's not what we, we don't see any use in that. Um, that's showing you more or less the pilot's skills, whether they can fly or not. That's, that's pretty much what it's telling you. At the end of the day, again, you're parting your hard earned cash uh, going into these products. So, you know, we are honest and genuine in our approach, uh, but we also want to show you what it's like to build, what it's like on its first flight, what it's like on its 20th flight, what it's like on its 50th flight. How is it after 80 flights? These are the numbers that you may see when you purchase a new model or when you get a turbine or when you get another sort of product. You are going to have, or you're wanting to have, longevity, ruggedness. So that's something we, we want to show you. Um, you know, and that's why we test uh, from various runways, so tarmac, grass, different weather conditions, you know, wind, um, light conditions, you know, and also different temperatures, you know, and all, the pilots as well. For this particular model, it wasn't uncommon to see Yoda hand the transmitter to someone else because they had an interest in it, but also to get a different you know, flying style on the model. Um, just, again, it's all part of the testing phase. And we all did this all in about four, four and a bit months. So it's a lot of um, flying that this has had during that time. Well, that's it for me. I've pretty much rambled on for long enough. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you flip me a comment if you have any questions. Um, if you are a reviewer and you happen to see a red button down this side of your screen, just like the master caution on any airliner, push that button uh, until it goes gray. So yeah, make sure you do that. If you see it, it's red, push it so it goes gray. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, but thanks for watching. From Yoda and I, you know, really appreciate you guys and uh, we'll see you at the field. Thanks guys, take care.